Hello everyone and welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of AEEE Prep, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of mathematics um, from the AEEE exam. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at a couple of math questions and look at how to solve them effectively. So let's start off with our first question. If cos A plus cos B plus cos C equals 0, which is also equal to sin A plus sin B plus sin C, then the value of cos A minus B plus cos B minus C plus cos C minus A is 1 by 2 minus 3, 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So how do we solve this question? We know that the sum of these three terms is 0 and the sum of these three terms are 0. This means we'll have to use them while solving for the value of the given equation. So let's write down the given equation again. I mean, the given term is cos a minus b plus cos b minus c plus cos c minus a. Now, um, we're doing cos of uh, one number minus another number. So cos of a minus b can be written down as cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. So we'll have to um, work that particular formula on all three of our cos functions. So what we get here is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b plus cos b cos c plus sine b sine c plus cos c cos a plus sine c sine a. So this is what the equi this is what the expression is now expanded into. Now, um, in order to um, work more on it, what we can do is we can multiply and divide by two. Multiplying and dividing by two would, in effect, give us the same expression. So it'll be one by two times. And we're just going to put uh, multiply 2 across each term instead of having to write it outside and then inside. So what we get is 2 cos A cos B plus, and now um, we're going to rearrange this particular expression um, in order to move on to the next step. So it'll be 2 cos A cos B plus 2 cos C cos D, I mean cos, it'll be 2 cos A cos B plus 2 cos B cos C plus 2 cos c cos a plus 2 sine a sine b plus 2 sine b sine c plus 2 sine c sine a. So as you can see, we've got 1 by 2. Uh, uh, added here. So our final answer would be having um, a denominator of 2. That means option B minus 3 turns out to be incorrect. Now, <clears throat> so uh, how do we move on from here? So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to use this particular e expression. We're going to do, um, instead of writing it in terms of sine, we're going to write it in terms of a, b, and c. So we know this particular algebraic expression, a plus b plus c, the whole squared, will give us a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So as you can see, we can apply it here for both cos and sine. The only thing we have to do is, in order to express this particular second half, we'll have to write the right-hand side as a plus b plus c the whole square minus a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So in order to um, apply this, what we're going to write here is 1 by 2, and then inside the bracket, 
we'll be having two particular brackets in here. So 2 cos AB plus 2 cos BC plus 2 cos CA can be written as cos A plus cos B plus cos C, the whole squared, and uh, we'll write the remaining terms later. We'll also do the same for sine. So it'll be plus sine A plus sine B plus sine C, the whole squared. And then minus, we're going to um, uh, write the squares here. So it'll be cos square A plus cos square B plus cos square C plus sine square A plus sine, I mean, yeah, sine square B plus sine square C. Now we know that cos A plus cos B plus cos C is zero and sine A plus sine B plus sine C is zero. So the bracket ultimately turns out to be zero. So when, if, when we're writing it down, so it'll be one by two times inside the bracket, the first two terms will be zero square plus zero square. And then inside the inner bracket, which is subtended by a minus sign, we're going to rewrite the squares in, like this. So we're going to write sine square A plus cos square A plus sine square B plus cos square B plus sine square C plus cos square C. So we've coupled the sine functions and the cos functions of each number to, of each variable together. And the reason why we did that is because of the trigonometric identity sine square A plus cos square A equals to 1. So the sine square of any number plus the cos square of that same number would give us 1. So all of these terms in effect would turn out to be 1. So now we have 0 plus 0 minus in the bracket you have 1 plus 1 plus 1. So basically it'll be 1 by 2 times minus 3 which means the right answer is minus 3 by 2. The value of cos of a minus b plus cos of b minus c plus cos of c minus a, when this particular condition is applied, is option d, minus of 3 by 2. Now let's look at another question. Given that sine a, cos a, and tan a are in a geometric progression, find the value of cot raised to 6a minus cot square a. Is it minus 1, 0, 1, or 2? Now, since we know that sine, cos, and tan of a are in GP, we're going to use the formula to find the geometric mean, b squared equals ac. So this is basically um, the property when it comes to a geometric progression. So among three terms of a GP, the middle term, the square of the middle term is equal to the product of the first and the third terms. So um, if we were to apply that here, then what we get is cos square A equals sine A times tan A. Now we know that tan A is basically sine over cos, so we're going to apply that here. So sine A times sine A gives us sine square A over cos A. And um, in order to work this further, we'll, we'll take the squared terms to the left-hand side. So that means sine goes to the left. So cos square A over sine square A is our left-hand side. And our right-hand side is 1 by cos A. Now, cos over sine gives us cot. And 1 by cos is seek. So um, cot square A is equal to seek of A. Now um, what we're going to do here is we're going to square both sides again. Now 
when we square both sides, what we get is the left-hand side becomes cotch raised to 4a, and the right-hand side is sec square a. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use sec square a minus tan square a equals 1. So the value of sec square a would be 1 plus tan square a. And we can write tan square a as 1 plus 1 over tan square a as 1 over cot square a. So it's basically 1 by cot a the whole square, which is the same thing as 1 by cot square a. So what we're now going to do is we're going to take the LCM on the right-hand side, which means what we get is cot square a plus 1 divided by cot square a equals to cot raised to 4a. Now when we take that, when we work on that, what we can do is we can take cot square a to the right to the left hand side. So it'll be cot raised to 4a times cot square a. So the left hand side is cot raised to 6a, which means the right hand side is cot square a plus 1. Now from here you can get the answer, the value of cot, cot raised to 6a minus cot square a would be equal to 1. So option C1 turns out to be the right answer. So all we did was use the formula for GP, B square equals AC. After that, we just used a couple of trigonometric identities and then did squ some squaring in order to get our particular expression, cot raised to 6A minus cot square A on the left-hand side. And whatever was on the right-hand side would be our answer, which in this case is 1. Now that concludes this episode of AEEE Prep. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.